of polyurethane foam rather than air-filled rubber tires. Polyurethane doesn't deteriorate in sunlight, nor does it dry out over time. And if the tire is made entirely of the closed cell type of foam, the tire won't go flat. Polyurethane tires are designed for low-speed vehicles, such as baggage carts and ride-on lawnmowers. This particular type of polyurethane foam has a closed cell structure, which prevents a flat even if the tire gets punctured. Millions of air bubbles encapsulated within the foam give it the required bounce factor. The first step is to take an aluminum model of the tire and make a production mold with it. This one's for a forklift. The mold will have two halves, each one lined with a tread ring, to prevent the cast tire from getting stuck in the cavity. To make each half of the mold, they center the model in a base. Then fill the space around it with polyurethane elastomer, which is a solid type of polyurethane, as opposed to the foam type they use to cast the tires. They stir gently to move air bubbles to the top, Then heat those bubbles with a small propane torch to burst them. With the help of a heated table to speed things along, the material solidifies in approximately 15 minutes, at which point they extract the half mold. And with a utility knife, trim its rough edges both inside and out. Then they mate the two halves, and the production mold is ready. Whereas most companies buy foam mixtures ready-made, this one blends its own, in order to have strict control over the formulation. Technicians weigh out the chemical ingredients manually, with a high-precision industrial scale that's accurate to within 45 grams. A propeller-shaped blade mixes the ingredients for half an hour, moving everything from top to bottom more than 300 times and drawing it out of the corners of the container. This ensures the mixture is evenly blended throughout. Before using this foam to cast the tires, a quality control test. They take a sample from the batch and let it rise and set, which takes about a minute. Then they cut a piece of a specific size, weigh it, and calculate the density. If the sample meets specifications, the batch is a go. Just before filling the two halves of the mold with polyurethane foam, they lubricate the cavity with a release agent. This prevents the tire from sticking to the mold when they extract it. A press keeps the mold closed and in place on the filling machine. The machine spins the mold while the foam flows into the cavity through a hole at the top. The spinning creates centrifugal force, which distributes the foam into every nook and cranny. In less than a minute, the foam, although not yet fully cured, is solid enough to be extracted. They open the mold, remove the tread ring, then dislodge the cast tire with a short blast of an air gun. They trim the excess foam from the center. It can be ground up to make other products, such as floor mats. Here's what the tire looks like before and after trimming. The polyurethane foam takes 24 more hours to fully cure. Then the tires are ready to roll. This company sells tires with and without painted steel rims. Rim installation is simple. They place the rim on a base, followed by a mounting cone, then the tire. A press snaps the center of the tire over the edge of the rim. Besides making the tire flat resistant, the closed cell structure of this polyurethane foam doesn't absorb water, meaning wet conditions don't hamper performance. The tire is also UV resistant and withstands high abrasion, so it typically lasts two to three times longer than an air-filled tire used on the same vehicle. <laughs>